Hey my friends, welcome to this video where I'm going to give you a visual understanding of this phased rollout of the EasyBot launch. I'm going to give you a glimpse of the trading bot performance. We got access to it a few days early. You'll see what that looks like and how it's been performing. I'm going to help you understand and give you a detailed breakdown of what comes with each level of subscription and membership, advanced and VIP. I'm going to take you by the hand and walk you through funding your EasyBot wallet, purchasing your bot subscription, connecting to your crypto exchange, and you'll get to see just how easy it is to set this bot in motion and activate it. It is practically one click strategy. So stay tuned, my friend. So as of March 22nd, you are now able to deposit into the EasyBot wallet the funds you need to pay for your annual software license, whether that's advanced or VIP. You're doing that to prepare for March 28th when the bot goes live for paid members. Initially the amount of coins you can trade will be capped to analyze server load capacity and scale accordingly adding more coins over time as the user base and the influx of new users comes in just to make sure everything's running smooth. Then on March 31st the doors are going to fully open where free members can also use the bot and we have a full scale launch on our hands. Let's take a quick sneak peek at how the bot has been trading and performing over the last 72 hours. As you can see, I have four coins running right now, Solana, Aave, Uniswap and Polkadot, which was put going about 48 hours ago. You can see the USDT value with a trading capital of 600, how much has been generated so far. Uniswap has done quite well. So here we are inside of Aave, you can see the date that the trades open, that's a sequence of trades that's currently open. It does not have a closed date yet. Initial buy order, the market dropped 2%. It opened a cover position. Market fell an additional 5% and opened another cover position. So you can see here an example of what it looks like. When it dropped 2%, the market retraced and went back up and that sell session ended there. So trades in and out of trades as the markets fluctuate and capitalizing on those movements of one to five percent the average daily range of the cryptocurrency market and obviously when the market's gone up or whether it's gone down if you've seen previous videos you know that it performs very well no matter what the market's doing stick around until the end and i'll show you just how simple it is to set in motion the bot trading one of these coins for you on your behalf around the clock 24 7. they've really streamlined and simplified the process removed the geek and tech requirement to allow anybody to get their money working for them as I'm about to show you how to transfer funds into your EasyBot wallet to pay for your subscription, you need to know how much that amount is. So now is a good time to make a decision. And that decision is a simple one. It's what level do you want to come in at? Free, advanced or the VIP package? Here you can see a clearly defined comparison table we've put together to assist you in making that decision. And let's hone in on some of the key features and benefits here that you may want to consider and factor into your decision. One of them is the software service fee you see along the top there. For the free version, you get to keep 70% of your trading profits. You're paying a 30% performance fee or service fee. However, with advanced and VIP, as you can see, you get to keep 80% of your trading profits. You're paying just a 20% software service fee. That additional 10% of trading profits that you get to put into your own pocket is quite significant over time. And let's run through a hypothetical example to put it into perspective. If you had a $10,000 trading account averaging 10% per month, that's going to equate to an additional $1,200 over a 12 month period. Now, if you consider compound interest and automated compounding on a per trade basis with this software, it's a lot more than 1200. You can also see that the number of coins is going to vary depending on what level you decide to come in at. The more coins you're using, technically the more moves you're going to capture because you're always going to have a few coins that have a decent amount of volatility in any particular day so that something is always making you profit even if some coins are flat. The number of crypto exchanges you get to use simultaneously varies as well. At the VIP package, you get to use five crypto exchanges. Why is that important? Well, you don't want all your eggs in one basket. You want to diversify when it, and mitigate risk when it comes to crypto exchanges as well. You don't want all your money in one crypto exchange. 
Both the free, advanced and VIP package come with the out-of-box, one-click setup strategy. Each level comes with step-by-step -step guides and tutorials and a knowledge base that's been rolled out right now. You also get full access to the affiliate rewards program. Even if you're a free member, you can earn as much from the comp plan as a VIP member. The done for you marketing system is available at all levels as well. Private one-on-one -on -one support is exclusive for the VIP package. And the last one is quite significant. If you are running to get into that founders club and be one of the thousand people that will ever qualify for it, then you want to position yourself at the VIP level because it is a requirement in order to be eligible to qualify for the Founders Club. So get in where you fit in, my friend. There's something for everybody here, but the most important thing is that you get started and finally get some money working for you and something reliable where funds stay in your own control, something with longevity and sustainability that's going to be here for the long term. Now, for those of you that have already made your decision and you know that VIP is for you, let's quickly discuss an update related to the Founders Club. And that is that you were able to pre-qualify for the Founders Club without the trading requirement. If you have not seen my short six minute presentation to share with you everything you need to know about the Founders Club, how lucrative it is, how to qualify and an action plan to make sure you achieve it, then make sure you watch the six minute Founders Club presentation that will be linked below this video. Now, one of the requirements is that everybody in a three by two structure is using $600 minimum in trading capital with their connected bot. But because certain parts of the world is not available to Binance.com and Coinbase Pro, which is the two exchanges that we're launching with, we're given a window of time there for our third exchange to roll out so that those people get an equal opportunity to also aim for this Founders Club, but you can lock in your spot by meeting the other qualification criteria which is outlined in my presentation, link below this video about Founders Club. So until April 30th you can secure your position as mentioned with the required structure of 12 people who upgrade to either advanced or VIP and then on May 1st the trading requirement will go into play and those 12 members will need to have funded trading account with an active bot paid membership. Before we go any further, it's very important that you clearly understand where funds are going and what funds are staying in your crypto exchange. Whether it's Binance or Coinbase Pro or one of the other exchanges that get rolled out depending on when you see this video, your trading funds stay in your own exchange. You are not sending the money that you plan to trade with to EasyBot. That's one of the beautiful things about EasyBot. Your funds remain 100% in your own control. This isn't a promise to pay program where you deposit a bunch of money into an anonymous website and they drip feed it back to you over an extended period of time. It's nothing like that, my friend. What you are sending to your EasyBot crypto wallet is the funds necessary to cover either your advanced annual software license at $250 or your VIP for $995 per year. Along with that, you want to send roughly 5% of the trading capital you tend to use. So let's say you have $10,000 you plan to trade with in Binance or Coinbase Pro. You're going to send $500 in here along with your software license. And that's going to last roughly six to eight weeks to cover the service fees. So EasyBot has no ability to get any funds out of your crypto exchange. So 100% of your trading profits is going back into your own crypto exchange. Therefore, your EasyBot wallet, you simply keep it topped up to cover that service fee that's been charged every time a successful trade closes. And if you plan to share EasyBot with others, your commissions come into the same wallet. So you'll never really have to worry about paying the service fees anyway. Funding your EasyBot wallet is relatively simple. When you're logged into your dashboard, navigate to My Wallet and it should look something like this. Here you can see the service fees broken down for a paid member. It's deducting 20% every time a successful trade closes. As the account compounds, that dollar amount will obviously grow. But one of the nice things is by simply sharing this with people, your affiliate commissions are coming into the same wallet, so you never really have to worry about topping up your wallet to cover these service fees. If you don't share it with anybody, you can simply move some of your trading profits from your crypto exchange, send it in here, keep this topped up. 
so that it never dips below zero. Here's an example of the 10% commission for an advanced on your level two. If I scroll down, here's an example of someone purchasing advanced on your level one. So that's a 40% commission. And obviously the 40% commission on VIP is quite nice. That's $400. So several of them coming in is obviously going to keep your wallet topped up so that you never have to worry about the service fees. So once you're in here, you would simply click on deposit. In this entry field, type in the amount of USDT you plan to transfer. At the time of recording this video, the only option is over the TRC20 network, over the Tron network, sending the USDT stablecoin. However, USDC should also be available and the ability to make a deposit over the ERC20 network, so over the Ethereum network. Depending on your crypto exchange, Binance.com is fully compatible with withdrawals over the TRC20 network and Coinbase Pro you can use the ERC20 network. However, if you don't want to wait, I'm going to show you a simple way to convert any cryptocurrency into USDT TRC20 and have it relayed into your, this wallet address right here. So when you've agreed to the terms, click on add. You should see a pop-up that looks like this. You'll be provided a QR code that lasts 24 hours and the deposit wallet address that you need to send the desired amount of USDT to in this case. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard and quickly show you a very simple website called fixedfloat.com that allows you to convert practically any cryptocurrency into USDT TRC20. So let's say you had Bitcoin. I typed in 0 0.025 Bitcoin on the left side here. Again, this is fixedfloat.com. On the right side, just do a search for USDT, select TRC20. I'm now going to take this wallet address and paste it in right here and click exchange now. You then send this amount of Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency from any other source or any other wallet, wherever you happen to be able to get your hands on crypto. You can just send it to this address right here and it's going to relay it on to your EasyBot wallet address that you provided. No account creation, no jumping through hoops to verify, fixedfloat.com, super simple and quite competitive low fees as well. If you navigate back to your EasyBot wallet, you should see a pending deposit transaction here and the amount. Once that is cleared and confirmed, navigate to upgrade subscription. Here you will see your available balance and you will see advanced and VIP package. Make your selection, click on upgrade. And when your purchase is successfully processed, you should be shown a thank you page that looks like this where you can navigate back to your dashboard. Once trading goes live on March 28th, you will be able to connect your crypto exchange to your EasyBot dashboard using what's called an API key. This is what binds them together and allows trade commands to pass through to your crypto exchange. Navigate to bot management, click on user exchanges. You'll see a page that looks like this. There will be step-by-step -step user guides for each exchange showing you exactly how to do it, but we'll just run through a quick example of how to bind Binance.com. So you click on Add User Exchange, give it a name. From the drop down menu, you're going to select your crypto exchange. Coinbase Pro will be ready also on the 28th with more crypto exchanges to follow. And then you're going to retrieve what's called your API key and a secret key. So inside of Binance.com, you want to navigate under your profile here, click on API Management. Give it a name like EasyBot and click Create API. You'll have to pass this two-step security verification where you send a code to your email and also the code from the Authenticator app. Once you've passed that security verification, scroll down. First thing to do is click on Edit Restrictions and tick the box that says Enable Spot and Margin Trading. Click on Save. With Binance.com, if you're not defining specific IP addresses that you're going to be connecting to, you will have to renew this every 90 days by coming in here and just reactivating. So click OK on that. You may get an additional security pop-up with the Authenticator app. Once you've confirmed that, copy the API key to your clipboard paste it in here. We're going to highlight 
the secret key, copy to our clipboard and paste it in here and then click save. And here you can see the example that we just created. We've now binded our crypto exchange, in this case Binance.com, to our EasyBot dashboard. As of March 28th, you will then be able to navigate to bot management, click on bots. And now you're going to see just how easy it is to put this bot running. So click on add new, give it a title, for example, the coin you plan to trade and the exchange. You see default configuration is already ticked. We then select the exchange that we just connected. And now we're going to select our coin, in this case ETC. Leave it at cycle, leave it at active, make sure auto compounding is ticked. And when we do that, it's going to automatically take 3.3% of the amount of trading capital that we allocate to this specific coin. So in here in balance is where you want to decide how much of your USDT balance over in Binance.com you want to allocate to this particular coin. When default configuration is selected, as you can see, the complex stuff is grayed out and you simply click save. So give it a name select the exchange, select the coin, enter the balance, click save. That's literally all you have to do. If you want some guidance on which coins to select, you can go to coinmarket.com. You can look at each coin and get an idea of how much it moves. For example, DOT and Polygon Matic is also an option. And you can see coins like that, altcoins, are going to move more on a daily basis than something like Bitcoin. So you might want to go with those coins before you go with Bitcoin because the more volatility, the more trading profits you're going to see. So it's really as simple as that to set up and put running your EasyBot for each coin that you decide to trade with. Simply repeat that process for each coin. As mentioned, they're going to gradually scale up the amount of coins that we can trade at the same time as they keep an eye on server load and server capacity as all the free members influx into the community as well. Make sure everything's working perfectly and then they'll gradually introduce more simultaneous coins that we can trade. So let's do a quick recap on what you need to do right now. You're going to fund your EasyBot wallet with the amount of funds necessary to cover your chosen annual software license plus those service fees. Remember I said that's about 5% of the trading capital that's over in your crypto exchange. Second thing is obviously purchase your VIP or advanced license as shown in this video. Fund your crypto exchange with the amount of trading capital you plan to trade with. And then share this video with your team, with your personal referrals and your team so that they can be shown step by step how to get up and running with this incredible software. I hope you got a ton of value from this video, my friend. I look forward to hearing about your success with EasyBot and I'll see you at the top. Take care.